Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashtips and welcome back to my channel. You are actually watching a video that forms part of the third web series. Today, we will be doing a quick speed run of the Hashtips art engine to generate our images and metadata needed to follow along with this third web series. If you feel a bit lost and you don't know what's going on, that's okay. If you go to my channel to the playlist section, go to the playlist third web with Hashlips. What this playlist is all about is the process that we are going to take in developing applications using third web. Now I highly recommend watching this playlist from start to finish, meaning that before you watch this video, you would have already familiarized yourself with these three videos over here. This is the basics of how to use the Hashtips Art Engine because in this video we will just be doing a speed run, getting the metadata and images ready for us to deploy a collection using third web. Now looking at the configuration.js file we can see I'm going to call this collection abstract art. I have a description and over here for my layer configurations I've arranged it to have a background, then put three color layers on there and a lines layer. Looking at the layers themselves, I've got a few colorful backgrounds over here. I've got a color section, which is just little bits and pieces of colors. I'll show you where it comes from in just a second. These are all the exact same. And then for the lines, we have these beautiful outlines of artworks that I've made previously. Just to give you a bit of backstory, these are the original artworks that I used and I split up the layers to kind of separate the colors as well as some of the lines out and gave it a bit of colorful backgrounds. I then took all those layers, split them up and organized them in this layer folder over here. The goal is for me to kind of mix them up and kind of make it unpredictable to get some kind of abstract artwork. How the artworks look is really not important for the third web series. However, I do want to make it special. So with that being said, I've done all the yarn installations and kind of installed the dependencies already. So I can just run npm run generate. And when I do that, I'm going to generate 10 basic images with their metadata. And here you can see they're already being created for me in this build folder over here. So here they are. Look how beautiful. Looks abstract, colorful, weird and wonderful. And along with this, we also have the JSON metadata. Now that we have our images and metadata ready, we basically have set up the prerequisite needed to deploy our collection with Third Web. Third Web will actually upload our metadata with the images onto IPFS and relink the files. How amazing is that? I cannot wait to show you that in the next video. For now, just make sure that you have your images and JSON ready as the prerequisite to the next video, where we will be creating an NFT drop using Third Web's dashboard. How exciting. But till then, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Leave me a thumbs up, a comment and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate that. Cheers for now.